All right, y'all. Um, very often I'll travel or I'll have a client travel and they'll say, man, I just don't know what to do. It's impossible to stay on track because I don't have any control over my food. Um, two things we're going to do for this video. This is the, <laughs> the simplest possible meal prep I can think of. Um, simple wins, simple, sustainable. You're going to be like, like nothing that I'm going to show you here is going to blow your mind, but this should be your encouragement to do this. You can either do this while you're traveling or coming back from a busy week, or maybe you had a really busy weekend. You're getting back into the week and you, um, you want to make sure you start off ahead of the game. Look, this is the simplest way I could possibly break down meal prep. So we're going to do beans, rice, chicken. Um, and then one thing that I might do with this is if I were packing a lunch for something or if I were away, I would just do baby carrots and, uh, and those individual packs of hummus, like for a little bit more veggies. Um, but so I, you could do this in a hotel. Uh, you might, it, it would be really helpful to just have a couple of these on Amazon. Um, it's like 20 bucks for like 25 of them or, or 40 of them or something. Um, you can take these to the hotel with you. And I just love this, like busy moms, busy dads, everybody's busy. And some people really don't have more than 10 minutes to throw their food together. Um, there's not making excuses. They literally, that's the, you know, that amount of time is, is hard to find. But unfortunately, this does kind of remove the excuse. Well, it's not, yeah, it can still be done. I'm not trying to be too, my clients know I'm, I never, I'm never unfair. You really do only have 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do about, about 130 grams of chicken per. Um, I do buy the cans with the pop top, even if I'm at home. Uh, you know, it saves you a couple of minutes, and uh, that might not seem like a lot, but the simpler this system is, the, the more likely you are to follow it and to keep doing it. Okay, that's 127. Just get a little bit more of this. 130. All right. There's one. Let's go ahead and pull the breast off this for two. 130 grams would actually be, that's a slightly smaller portion for me, but for most clients, that's gonna be plenty. If you're doing that twice a day, 130 grams of meat twice a day, a protein shake, some eggs in the morning, you will hit your protein goals. And 132. This rotisserie chicken was $6, which is a pretty standard price. The Costco ones are $5, but they're a lot bigger. So they're, they're a better, definitely a better price than anybody else in the world. Costco's um, rotisserie chickens are a loss leader. So they don't make money on them, but they know that they get people in the door. And so they sell them at a loss, which is just crazy to think about. Um, if you're a little bit weirded out by this, you can grab some like nylon gloves or something that it will make this. I mean, this doesn't bother me one bit, but if you've worked in the kitchen for a long time, it won't bother you either. But if you are not a foodie, you'll want to have this. Uh, if you are on like a weekend vacation or a work trip, you don't need to be perfect on all this, but like this really will. Like I encourage people when you're when you're on a vacation or something, don't waste every meal of the day. Like don't eat three meals a day at a restaurant just because your like your gut's gonna feel bad, your energy's gonna suffer. So what I do is I tell people like, hey, enjoy dinner, um, but keep lunch really really simple and keep lunch within your goals, and then be really simple for breakfast as well. Or, you know, it could be the opposite, like you're going to do a fun brunch because you're in New York City or something. Well, enjoy the brunch, but don't like, don't enjoy the brunch and then enjoy a big lunch and then a dinner and then a dessert after and then a late night meal. You know, you, there's, you know, just be, be reasonable. This is one thing that can keep you on track. I may only get three meals out of this. 
I could have gone smaller on the chicken portion, but it'll be fine. Um, I have a little bit of a busy week, so I want to not uh, prep so much. But one thing that I'm also finding is when I don't have a busy week, it's still really fun to get ahead on my food because it saves me time regardless, and I can spend more time doing fun stuff. So even if my schedule is like more wide open, like on the weekend, I still don't want to have to come back. Like if I'm out at the park or going to the Smokies, I don't want to have to come back and, and uh, make myself a meal and spend an hour doing that. So sometimes I'll just cook and prep stuff like this beforehand. So yeah, we're going to get three meals out of this. So $6, so that's $2 a meal for your meat. Much better than a restaurant, which would charge you $14 for chicken, beans, and rice. And I could probably pick more meat off this, but... Nope, that's pretty much, pretty much all the meat there. All right. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. So two cans divided by three. This is kind of challenging math. Normally if I'm doing like, I would do like a half a can and so I would just scan this by the barcode. But a can is three and a half servings per container. Which I don't know if you can see that. Which is always so crazy to me, it drives me crazy. Three and a half servings per container. I'm just gonna weigh this out in grams because it'll be a little bit simpler. All right, get that off. Cause I can't do the math on three and a half times three divided by, or th three and a half times two divided by three. All right. 116. I think a. Okay, 146. I think 146 might be the average. 142. Let's see, let's see. 162. Yeah, all right, pretty close. 160, I'll, I'll estimate 160 uh, in each. And then you got two options for rice. You can either just do this or if you make your rice. So that's pretty much all we've got left. I'll, I'm gonna save this for when I'm traveling. Um, I definitely could have done this video faster, uh, but I was kind of talking and pulling apart the chicken a little bit slower than maybe necessary. Let's go ahead and zero that out. 150 grams of rice. Do about the same in each one. Perfect. Again, I'm not I'm not aiming for perfection, I'm aiming for consistency. I'll go a little bit smaller on this one. I'll do like 140, because the other one was 160. And it's gonna balance out. Okay, to make this taste a little bit better, you can throw some salsa on there or some hot sauce. I'll decide kind of the day of, because this is actually just gonna stay at my house. This is a lot of food. You won't need probably these portion sizes, um, but, 
that'll be enough to fuel me for some really good hard workouts through the week. All right. And...